say I'm so sports. You know me there, yeah? I'm coach to coach representing. I mean, I said this is right to representing for all my life. You don't know, come get the sports over here from near and far. Oh, boy, boy, boy. Me say, I am sure sports, one thing me sure about. When me say sure, that me, me not doubt. Come get your sports, get it over here. Come subscribe, repost and share. I am sure sports, one thing me sure about. When me say sure, that me, me not doubt. Come get your sports, get it over here. Come subscribe, repost and share. Yeah, share. If me not sure, that me, me not say it. No who score, that me, me not say it. Never know no game play, that me, me not say it. If me never seen a game, me not know who play. For your sports news, better come over your son. For your soccer news, then come over your son. If you don't love sports, still come over your for the day, don't you want to love over your son? So, so, when it comes on to behavior concerning football, Jamaica is, is decent. I am sure that if we can get all of these things done, second place by the end of April, it gives us enough time before the World Cup campaign. Not afraid of no Brazil or no Argentina with these crap of players. We are good enough. Remember to like, subscribe, 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 share. Listen, comment, let me know what your thoughts are. Trick Nick Jerk Marinade gives your meats and vegetables authentic Jamaican jerk flavor. The spices are directly from Jamaica. Spices like jerk seasoning, allspice, scotch bonnet pepper, fresh scallions, thyme, ginger, and garlic. The key ingredients to a great jerk marinade. 0% sugar and low in sodium. You want to try it? Made up of 18 Jamaican herbs and spices. Add delicious, bold flavor to your next grilling experience. Flavoring sauce, a marinade, basting, condiment, or topping. Trick Nick Jerk Barbecue Sauce. All right, good afternoon and welcome to I Am Sure Sports. I am your host, Manning's Man. This is our afternoon uh, interview and we have a very special guest that will be with us today but before we bring our guest on just a few things i'd love to share with you if you would just bear with me just for uh just a, a couple of minutes number one is this is a youtube platform as you know predominantly our videos are here so it is very important that you hit that like button you subscribe and you share the content so we can grow where that is concerned especially if you enjoy the content which i have no doubt that you will be able to and you will you're going to enjoy this so please support the work by hitting the like button we have two channels i am sure sports and i am sure sports caribbean it is on both if you're not a subscriber also ensure that you subscribe and you can make a financial donation through super chats and super sticker if you desire to do so no pressure just out of the love all right wonderful and awesome again good to have you thanks to every one of you i may not be able we may not be able to take all of your comments and all of your questions but as best as we can we will work with our moderators to take as many of them as possible and right now before we even bring on our guests if you know a goalkeeper a goalkeeper coach you need to get them plugged in right now you need to just hit them up right now and say you need to come on and watch this it's going to be phenomenal this 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 uh, person that we're going to invite on he has recently been appointed as the head coach for the reggae boys the jamaica national football team but he has worked extensively across europe he himself was a very excellent goalkeeper in the nation of iceland he has many plans to transform the landscape of jamaican goalkeeping and um, he's going to build on the talent that is here not just in terms of the goalkeepers but goalkeeper coaches we're going to have him on he's going to talk a little bit about his own journey so you can get to know him that when you see him in the streets of jamaica 
you will heal him up and give him some coconut water with some jelly and some jerk chicken and some fish and bami and all of those things, right? You will know him because he's a man for the street. He will be in the streets, you know, walking and talking to the people. That's how he operates. Um, met him. Um, you know, I call him my friend, right? I call him my friend and we're building a healthy uh, relationship. And so we're going to invite him on. I cannot pronounce his first name. I cannot pronounce his surname. All right. So I'm going to call him Gumi. G-U-M-M-I. I don't know what that means, but that's the easiest way for me. Big up former national player. Right, big big Jamaican left back went to the World Cup. Gregory Messam Senior, big up Gregory Messam Junior, and the rest of the Messams in the chat. Big up yourself over there in Houston. Big up and bless up, big time friend. The man who every morning since we have been corresponding, he sends me my morning devotionals. All right, ja ja. <laughs> here we go. But here is our guest, uh, Gumi. Welcome. Back to Jamaica in the virtual space. Welcome to I Am Sure Sports. How are you today? I'm fantastic, especially after listening to your speech. <laughs> <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. How is Iceland? Is it snowing there now? How is it there? Yeah, it has been uh, quite cold since I came from Jamaica two weeks ago, and um, it has been snowing a lot. Now it's raining, so we hopefully the what do you say? The, the, the warm weather is coming soon, but uh, we will not see it for the next couple of weeks, but um, it's okay. It's fresh, windy, and healthy. And, and the family is doing well? Yeah, yeah, my family is doing well, and that's the most important. They are healthy, they are well, and uh, they are happy. That's also very important. Awesome, wonderful. All right, I want you to begin and, and by, by helping Jamaica to get a little bit familiar with you. Tell them about your, your beginnings in the, in, the, in, in the sport of football and what made you, of all the positions on the football field, made you want to go into goal, conceding 10 and 6 goals per game and all of those things. Tell us about your time as a cookie. <laughs> yeah, actually, um, I have been... Uh... And it, it's more or less a trend that in Iceland that uh, every young kid is very much into sport. Uh, that's our school system in a way. You you practice all kinds of sports. You practice basketball. You go to handball, which is our second biggest sport, and you go to you play play football. And then you go to gymnasium, and then you go to swimming, and you have to do everything like that uh, every week. So so. Uh, as a kid, uh, the kids today, they are more or less in two, three to four sports. So the parents are driving them between uh, uh, sports area. But uh, from my my uh, young, uh, when I was growing up, um, I was very much into handball and football. And, um, and of course, you know, by playing handball and football, you have to do a lot of running. So basically, I, I was so lucky that I, I was... Uh, uh, how do you say, so natural fit, but I was always exercising, I was always playing. Um, and um, But I was, I'm, I'm, I'm literally quite tall, but a, a normal size for a goalkeeper. But um, when I was growing up, I was very late, you can say. I was very late uh, getting adult, uh, and I was very small. And so I, I, I was actually too small, basically, to be in a goal. Uh, because the, by that time it was always uh, the trend that the big guys they were in the goal, and the small small guys were playing outfield. So I had to play outfield a lot, um, and until I was 18, then I was uh, 18 or 19. I was getting into uh, the 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 age which I have today, and I started to focus on the goal. And and actually that was basically one of my luck because I was. Um, uh, how do you say? Uh, by that time, you can say, uh, based on what is now uh, a mandatory thing, I was a modern type of a goalkeeper. I could play with my feet. I could use my left foot and right foot. But uh, but when I was playing, uh, uh, that regulation was not already there. You could easily pass to the keeper. The keeper could take the ball up, no problem. But um, but uh, but I, I think I would be be. Based on the modern game today, an okay goalkeeper, uh, and uh, so 
sport has always been a uh, number one priority for, for me. Uh, I played with, I was so lucky, I played with uh, a lot of clubs in the Icelandic Premier League, uh, and uh, three of those clubs I won the championship with. I was uh, played in the European Championship uh, against big teams, um, of course, with different uh, results. Of course, the results could have been better. Um, but I played for the national team. Uh, but by that time, we had a lot of good goalkeepers in Iceland, which we have today as well. And, uh, and uh, uh, so I played a couple of caps, but I was a lot of times in, in, uh, in the squad. In okay. the squad, 16 by that time. Then we just had two goalkeepers and 16 uh, players. And, uh, and so, so uh, I was lucky to be there. Uh, but today we have... As you know, three to four goalkeepers in in its its camp, and uh, but uh, by that time the, the, these were different, and so uh, when I stopped playing, uh, I I started to uh, the last three or four. Let me just years. ask just one question for everyone. So all your club career, like you played in for Icelandic teams. Yeah, I, I played I played abroad in Germany for two years. I played in. Um, I played in uh, third division. I wanted always one of my mission was to learn German, German language, uh, uh, because I've been uh, uh, how do you say, I've been uh, uh, a fan of the German football first of all uh, since '73. Uh, you can say. Uh, then I saw my my uh, uh, I saw a goalkeeper played live, Seth Meyer, and uh, I really he was playing for Bayern München. He was not a big one, not a tall guy, but he was very technical, and he gave me some kind of inspiration. So from that point of uh, the day, I saw him play live. I wanted to uh, live in Germany. I wanted to learn German. I wanted to uh, learn the culture, uh, and, and to know the people. Um, so I went there and, and I played uh, in uh, actually in the third division in Germany, which was quite a uh, good experience for me. And educational wise was good for me as well. And then I was sure that uh, and I, I followed uh, many clubs uh, in that area where I was living. I was living in a nice area where uh, it's called uh, Westfalen in, in Dusseldorf. Uh, and I, I, I was able to go between clubs and to, to learn and see how the other goalkeepers were doing in practice. To, uh, how do you say, you can more or less. Uh, uh, how do you say, suck in whatever, everything I saw. Um, you absorbed whatever you saw. Yeah. 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 And, and, and try to try to do, uh, use it. And I, I, I wrote, took, took a lot of notes. I was uh, starting to think about practice, how I can build up keepers. Uh, so from, from there, I came home. Uh, I continued to play uh, and, and, and on a high level. And, and then I came... Uh, how do you say a second goalkeeper and also a goalkeeper coach at the same time uh, and then i came a second goalkeeper and also a, a second a second coach so i took my coaching degrees um, uh, and then i was very much into coaching i was coaching the national team uh, quite young um, i was coaching the women national team as well and so i was more or less um, on my way out from coaching when uh, I got a call um, in, uh, it was in 2011. I got a call from uh, Hamid Hal Crimson, the head coach of the America, where he wanted to meet me. I, I just read it in newspaper that he, he came the assistant coach of Iceland. Um, and I was actually done with that step. And I said to my wife uh, that uh, now I, we, we do something else. I will quit football uh, in a way. And so, and, and uh, I said to her that uh, there was a gentleman who was uh, going to be the head coach, Lars Leibach from Sweden. Yes. And, and he wanted to talk to me with Hamir. Uh, I know Hamir from, 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 from past. Uh, we played against each other and, and we had new, mutual friends because Iceland is a small country, basically. Um, and then I said to my wife that I'm going to go there uh, just to say hello. And she said, yeah, you're not going into football anymore because you quit with that. So I went there and it took them 10 minutes to convince me to come in, into the uh, coaching stuff. And I said, yes. So I, I since then, uh, I started my, you can say, my second wave of my, my career as a coach. Because from there, um, 
I went into um, uh, a special course, which was by that time taking place, uh, called the UEFA A goalkeeping license, um, which is now a mandatory thing in, in most of the leagues in, in Europe and, and, in, and in the world, in some places. Um, and I took my uh, further degrees in, in, in goalkeeping license. Uh, and then I met my mentor, which is, um, his name is Patty Bonner. Patty Bonner, he played for Celtic and, and Ireland as a national coach, goalkeeper. And he played 600 games in the Scottish Premier League for Celtic. And uh, he was uh, the head of this um, uh, course, basically. And, and, and he asked me to join, uh, if I was willing to join, that was in 2015, after I took my exams. He asked me if I could, would like to join uh, UEFA as a, how do you say, mentor and 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 um, uh, uh, goalkeeper expert in a way to uh, implement and and educate uh, the countries who didn't, who by that time hadn't start the UEFA uh, goalkeeping uh, course license. So from there. I, I have been there on board since 2015. I've been uh, monitoring and um, and trying to uh, get uh, coaches and, and federation uh, in, in a lot of countries to take the UEFA uh, goalkeeping license step. And most of the countries have done that. And we are actually, I'm not doing this alone. We are, we are around uh, 16 goalkeeper coaches doing that. But I have been working in, because I speak German, I've been working in Germany for doing the same same uh how do you say guideline in germany or following the german way of doing it uh for two years i've been in austria since 2016. Um, i've been uh, yeah in many countries you can say uh, in, in euros just uh you say guidelining and making sure that they are following the guideline we we, we have built up which is a uefa guideline so you yeah. work with you actually yeah. work with the UEFA in helping yeah. to get goalkeeping coaches across Europe yeah. up to a particular yeah. standard. Yeah. Okay. And and, and, and and we have been working actually in um, in all those countries with uh, Premier League goalkeeper coaches and uh, and educated them uh, and of course uh, in football as you know uh, you can have some kind of philosophy, which is very important to have. You have some kind of guideline, which is very important to have. But the most important is that you have a communication between the keepers, between the goalkeeper coaches and be the head coaches. And, and together, we continue with uh, the guideline we already work well from. And we uh, uh, they make me better. I maybe help them to be better, be, become better. So it's, it's about, it's a team sport. It's it's not a one rule or one street. You have to drive a lot of different roads to get to the, um, uh, to the, to the goal. And it, it's about working together. If, 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 if the, how do you say, if the player and the coaches are not working together, you will not make a, you will not have a good team. So that's, uh, that's my, my philosophy. And, and, and of course I've been so lucky to be a part of the Icelandic national team who went to the Euro Euro final in, in 2000. You, you were the goalkeeper coach when they went to the Euro. Yeah. Uh, I think they defeated England. Yeah, we we, we, we actually were in group with uh, Portugal, actually. It was one, we became European champions. We made a draw with them in the first game. And then we made a draw against uh, Hungary and then we uh, beat it Austria. And then we played England in the, in the 16, uh, yeah. 16 final and we beat it England 2-0. 2-1, 2-1, sorry. And, and, and then I was a part of the, the Icelandic national team as well. Who went to that went the, to the World Cup. Final. Um, and uh, that was nice. We were actually in a very strong group with Turkey, with, um, with Croatia, for example. And we, were, uh, we won the group. Croatia was second. They had to go for a playoff. And then Croatia played uh, the final uh, in, 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 World, uh, in, in Russia. So it's a, and we made a draw against Argentina in the first game, and, um, and then we and we lost uh, two games in a row. We lost against um, Croatia and, and, and also against uh, Nigeria. So we, so so it, it, it's a it's a, how do you say it's a uh, it's, it's a privilege to have to be a part of uh, such a united group of players um, and such a united group of staff and coaches, staff. Everyone was 
how do you say, rowing into the same direction. And, 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 and hopefully, and that is our aim for, for Jamaica to, to, to get into, um, uh, to go, to take everyone to the same direction. Because I think you have to have, every, every, everyone needs to join uh, the, the mothership actually, because uh, uh, sometimes you will have uh, a wind uh, against you and sometimes you will have a tailwind and then you will have a backwind and whatsoever. But I think the most important is that uh, people know, uh, the, what do you say, where we are going and how we are going to get there. Yes, that's that's such an important thing that everyone be on board and everyone knows, like I said, where we are going and how we are getting there. It's yeah. also good to know that you're not just a goalkeeper coach, you're a qualified coach who then ventured into coaching goalkeepers, right? No, yeah. you, you are coming to Jamaica because, I mean, it, it probably similar to Iceland in terms of the amount of quality goalkeepers on the island itself. But And we have like one big goalkeeper, Andre Blake, in Philadelphia. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, how are we now going to raise the standard? Is it is it you working with goalkeepers? Are you helping the goalkeepers, coaches right across Jamaica to, to, to lift the standards so that we can have goalkeepers all across Europe and in top leagues in the world? Uh, 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 this is a very good question, you know, and 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 uh, this is a topic which, uh, how do you say, is is very interesting. What you are saying, um, my aim actually is to try to know the culture uh, first of all. Try to know uh, 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 the goalkeepers. I've seen a lot of goalkeepers. I worked with a lot of goalkeepers already uh, in 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 the two games two games we have played so far. We placed uh, we played against Argentina. Then I was working with four goalkeepers. Um, and 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 um, uh, uh, and we played in Camero. I was working with two goalkeepers, uh, and, and I had worked with them before in in, in the game against uh, Argentina. And now, uh, last time I was here, I was working with uh, different goalkeepers, although I'm sometimes the same goal goalkeepers I've seen before. I've seen some games, but I have to say that you know the the how do you say the the the, uh, the standard. German the standard, oh. the standard, the standard of the uh, uh, Jamaican athletics are very high. It's you know it's one of the best in the world. I have to say, uh, and 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 but you know there is always something I would like to uh, point out, and I would like to uh, share with the coaches if they are interested. I'm, I'm not going to force anything into anyone because I'm not uh, I'm not a club coach uh, in, in Jamaica. I'm, I'm uh, working with the national team. I'm working with Heimir um, Hatkinson uh, and his crew, uh, and I'm assisting him to find uh, the good balance uh, and find good keepers. Because we are not thinking for one year or two years, we are thinking a little bit ahead. So we would like to see young goalkeepers, co young goalkeepers, and and we have been scouting a lot of keepers uh, who are playing in England, for example, keepers who are playing uh, in the US. And we are looking for for we are you looking for more uh, Andrew Blake keepers basically, and of course it's always good to have different style of a keeper. So so uh, last time I was here, I was I was uh, capable of of having a discussion with uh, three or four uh, goalkeeper coaches uh, from the Premier League clubs. They came and we 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 talked for an hour. It was a nice uh, discussion, uh, and we all agreed that. The, uh, it's a, a mutual task to, to for, for for all of us. This is not something one person will do. I think this is something we all have to decide to do. So uh, the plan is that next week, uh, I will come next weekend. Uh, the next week, uh, we will have um, uh, two to three hours uh, seminar where I will make a presentation about, uh, and the topic will be um, the role of the goalkeeper coach in a modern game. Uh, and I will go through a lot of topics. So the, the, the topic will be the role of the goalkeeper coach in the modern game. Yeah. And you're coming, you're coming weekend, and then this seminar will be during that Wednesday, week. Wednesday, ne Wednesday next week. And, Wednesday and next week here in Jamaica. You're here, doing it here, here in Jamaica, and, and, and it will be uh, advertised and published from the uh, FA. Uh, yes. And, and and then I'm, I'm, we we just we were just I was just sending them um, the topic how what I would like to do and and the day after 
I would love to have uh, a three hour seminar, which is more or less uh, when we are working on the pitch. And I would like to have maximum 12 goalkeepers from the Premier League clubs or, or, or how do you say, the biggest talent goalkeepers. It doesn't have to be the goalkeeper one, number one in the, in the Premier League or number two. It can be uh, 17 years old or 18 year old, very uh, promising or, or and talented goalkeeper. And I would like to work with them uh, for, uh, for one hour in a group for goalkeepers together. And I would like to have the coaches uh, uh, present as well. That's my aim, actually. And, and we will see how that works. And, and, and I would like to work with the coaches about pluses and minuses. I'm not going to tell the coaches how to coach and what to do, because all of us are different in a way of coaching. The, the, in the end, it's about, uh, it's about the game, 11 against 11. And, and it's about result. And it's about uh, protecting the goal and scoring the goal. So, so uh, I would go through that uh, from from A to Z, uh, with with uh, from the goalkeeper point of view. Uh, as you know, um, the modern goalkeeper has uh, is doing totally different things from based on what I was doing when I was starting. Because uh, seventy to eighty percent of what the goalkeeper is doing in game, doing today in a modern game is uh, with his feet. He's not using his hand. Uh, only only yes. 22 percent, and but even though he's a goalkeeper, so you can so he, say he only uh, uses. This, I want you to I want you to say that again. In in a modern day in fo modern day football, the the modern day goalkeeper uses his hand only only twenty two percent of the time. Yeah, on average, wow. on average, on average. It can, wow, it, it, it can't be thirty percent, but it, it, it that's on average, and 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 that's how it is, and and. If you monitor, for example, and that's what we are going, I would like to discuss. If you monitor a goalkeeper in the game, you will be surprised. You will be totally surprised. If you just take the goalkeeper and you just follow what he's doing, you will be surprised. And that will be one of my topic and discussion about what is the goalkeeper doing in the game. And, and then my next question is, how do we, tr how do we train them after, after, after those numbers? And why do we do it this way and not the other way? So it's a discussion. And, and I would like to repeat, nothing is wrong or nothing is right. It's, it's, it's a different opinion. And you can have different types of keepers. And that's actually uh, so different to be uh, a national goalkeeper coach than a club coach. Because as a club coach, you have the goalkeeper with you uh, more or less 24-7 all year round but as a goalkeeper coach uh, for the national team, national team yes. you, you you meet them maybe uh 10 times a year uh, and you meet them for a short period of time you meet them for five days and you have to set up a training plan for five days you're not going to change them you're just going to guide them you're more or less training them based on what the head coach is going to do and and, and you are going to follow the rule of the head coach and you are trying to adapt yourself into the what the head coach is going to do the style of play and etc and then you set up training according to the style of the head coach all right let me so in the modern day goalkeeping you know they, they speak about inverted wingers they, they speak about uh what you'd call like false nine in the attacking position okay. um uh, when you when you speak about goalkeepers what are the different are there different types of goal name given to the different type of goalkeepers like for example someone just said you have sweeper keepers uh yeah, like, probably like a manuel neuer yeah, um, yeah, that's that's you that's know what are some of the different names they give to the keepers and what are some of the functions that those keeper do that distinguishes them from other keepers yeah, for example, you mentioned Manuel Neuer, and, and, and you mentioned also when we start uh, the, you started the show, um, is that on YouTube you can find a video clip which is approximately 15 minutes about Manuel Neuer. Yeah. What what he's he's basically doing again? He is he's uh, he's a shoot stopper. He's taking crosses. He's he's defending outside the penalty box. He's distributing. He's he's uh, he's attacking. He's doing everything which uh, you would like to see in a keeper. But then you have different types of a keeper. For example, De Stegen, who is playing with uh, Barcelona. He's very technical in, in, in with his foot, and he's using his feet a lot. He uses his feet, left foot, right foot, and he's some, 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 sometimes, or more or less a lot of times, uh, starting the attack. He's one of the key players when they're building up. So they're building up from the keeper. 
And that's something they practiced. You can go to Buffon, who was more or less the same. He was uh, one of the old keeper who was also, uh, uh, how do you say, he was one of the first one to get modern. And he was modern all, all his career. He's still playing, still playing 44 years old in, in Parma in Italy. And, and then you can have, uh, for example, uh, I know that you're a national fan. For example, the goalkeeper in Arsenal today. Ramsdale. He's, yeah, he's so different, for example, from, from, from Leno, who was there before. They yes. are so different. And, and Ramsey, of, of course, he's, he, he's, he's some kind of, how do you say, it, it's difficult to, to describe him. He's, he's, in between, he's in between both. Like he can yeah, be. Yeah, excellent. He, he's, he's, he's uh, you know, uh, there's a lot of, uh, how do you say, passion going on, and he's showing it. When he makes yeah. a save, he's so happy. He, he's celebrating. He's, he's, he, he, you know, he's, he's all, he's all in the game, and 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 it fits Arsenal now, and and maybe it will fit fits Arsenal uh, in, in coming years. But you never know because, um, and but he is, he he's making a lot of saves, and and then you see a goalkeeper who doesn't make a lot of saves. Everything looks so easy, and then the question is, why? Does it look so easy? And, and and you have to be able to answer that question because if you're going if you're going to find a nice good goalkeeper, it looks very easy for 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 example for from for Stegen, what he's doing. Why it is looking easy? Is it because his position is right? Yes. His, his balance is right. His focus is right. And then you have, for example, the English number one goalkeeper who's playing for. Cool. Oh yes, um, Pickford. Yeah. yeah, Pickford. For example, he made a lot of saves. Uh, I'm, I'm not talking him down at all. You know, I, I, I cannot afford that. I'm not saying I, I'm talking about different goalkeepers. He, yeah. he made a lot of he made a lot of saves in 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 the World Cup in in, in the World Cup uh, in, in in the Euros without even knowing it. You know what I mean? He he yeah. he, he yes. came out. He, he was like uh, you know. He came out with his arms, and and the ball went to, to into his arms, and he didn't know it. It just was there. So that that's just what we are saying, uh, what 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 we can call a gambling goalkeeper. But oh, he's, not, a, he's, a, he's a more gambling goalkeeper. He takes more risk. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. But I'm, I'm yeah. not saying that it's wrong. When yeah. he is when he is saving, everybody loves him. But when the goal uh, the, when the ball goes into the goal, then you can ask. Then you can start to ask a question. Uh, why didn't he play like the the Stegen, for example? Yeah. My, my annoyer, but they are different. But they are all. Uh, th that's the fun part of it. You can have ten or fifteen or twenty types of different goal. types because the, a good example is the two Brazil, the two Brazil yeah. goalkeepers, Edison and Allison. You know, um, you know, Edison is very good at playing, like getting a team going on the counter. But Allison yeah. can do it. But you know. Do you lose anything if you play one over the other? Yeah, yeah exactly. That, that, that's a good question because you remember when Guardiola took over Manchester City. What was his first? What was the first thing he did? Change the goalkeeper. Change the goalkeeper. And why? <laughs> because of how he played. He needed exactly. a goalkeeper. Yes, yes, yes. Exactly. yes. And he took out the English number one goalkeeper, Joe Hart, by that time. And yes. a, lot of people, a lot of people said. When Joe Hart was in the goal, that he was the best goalkeeper in the world, and and I'm not saying that people were wrong or right, but that's what people said. But he basically went from City down the drain actually in, in steps because he didn't fit into the style of, of 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 play, and that's something we need to look into and consider when we are looking for a goalkeeper. What type of goalkeeper are we looking for? But I'm saying that you know. Could he adapt the style of play they were playing by using Joe Hart? Most likely, but he didn't have patience for it, so he bought a new goalkeeper. Yeah, yeah. All right. So, so now that is the different types of goalkeeper. What are yeah. the different characteristics or attributes? Or what? If, if there are five things that makes one a good goalkeeper, um, what are the five things in terms of importance? Like you know. You know, you tell me as the expert. Yeah, I, I will say that the first thing I always try to coach is the technical skills. You, you need to work on that, how you catch the ball, 
how you dive. And then uh, about focus, which is one of my topics. Position is one of my topics as well. And balance, for example, one of my topics. And of course, you need to be fit. You need to be athletic. You need to be ready for all the exercise I'm going to uh, do with you, work with you. Because goal, goalkeeping is like uh, your, uh, how do you say, your um, heart rhythm or the cardiac, the, 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 the rhythm of your heart. It goes up, it goes down. It goes up, it goes down. So, so you need to be uh, in a very good physical shape to be, be, be to become a goalkeeper because it's like uh, an athletic which can do everything. And but you, and you can say that in a way, goalkeeping is 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 uh, goalkeepers always a part of the team. And you you a lot of people say uh, football is a team sport, but it's a team sport until the goalkeeper makes mistakes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. that is true that is yeah. true but i i try to use the three topic i always so I use the, te yeah you start with technical skills yeah i say i say i say focus 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 positioning position, and, balance. and balance focus, focus. positioning and balance yeah yeah that's the three that's a three th that's the three key things and you can for example this second he has all those three he is focused. He's, he's always in the right position, and he is in balance. Well, how do you how do you ex when, when you say balance? Is it balance in terms of your build or your or how 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 you what when, what is how, how you how you stand? For example, when oh, okay. when, someone, okay. when when someone is shooting at the goal, when someone is shooting at, at the goal, and he's in the middle of the goal, he, he, you know you are standing in the middle of the goal, and he is in in front of you. If your balance is going to the left. And he's shooting to the right, you don't have a chance. But if your balance is both on the left and right, and you see the ball, that's the focus, yeah. then, it is, then it is very likely that you're going to make a save. But if you're gambling and you're going to the left before he shoots, then you're not in balance. You're not, but okay, okay. And then you're not in focus. Yes. Then so balance, gambling. balance. Focus. Let's say them again. Balance, focus, and, and position. Position and positioning. All right. Yeah. So, because growing up, when we hear about goalkeeper, they always talk about reflexes. You have yeah. to have good reflexes. Which one of yeah. those three areas do the reflexes fit but, into? So, I'm going I, to let you go and, and talk about that, and let me just stop this. But you can go ahead. I'm listening. Go ahead, coach. I'm listening. Go ahead. Okay, okay. If, if we talk about reflexing, you know, you have, to, you know, you can reflex is a fantastic tool in a way, and 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 I practice a lot with reflex. But be to be able to do reflexing, you have to have focus. You have to have a position, and you have to have a balance. Then you can, if you have those three points, then you can practice reflexing. Because I don't like to have a goalkeeper who is uh, saving 20 or 30 percent of the shots which come to the goal. I like them to 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 minimize this to 5, 50, 60 percent. But so so he's he's always in a position. Every shot which comes to the goal, he, he and all his movements is is related to what the ball is going to do. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Because, there, because there is no goal going to be scored without the, out of the ball. So you have to position yourself uh, where the ball is. Yeah. And, and, and when someone is shooting, you should never look at the player. You should always look at the ball. And that's about position, focus, and then you're in a balance. You are not standing in the left foot, not standing in the right foot. And when the shot comes, if it is straight, then you're standing in both, foot, both feet. If it goes to the right, from your side, then you take a step forward to the right. And right. you always attack the ball as the goalkeeper. You don't give the ball a license to attack you. If, if the balls attack you, then you are just acting like a wall and the balls go straight out where it came from. You don't want that. You, want, you would, would like to be able to control where the ball is, where the ball comes from. You would like to control it. Either you hold it or you push it away from the goal. Yeah. 
Now, um, one of the key things, right, that, that and, and I'm just going based on how I know football used to be, is that people said that the goalkeeper need to talk a whole lot. It's almost like he is, is that a necessary um, part of goalkeeping now where you are, or maybe that is just localized, but at like the Premier League level when there's so much noise in the stadium, do the goalkeepers um, communicate and are how important is communication to the, 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 the balancing of the defense and how the defense shifts and move and press and drop and all of those things, um, how they are zonally positioned in, 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 in set plays, how important is communicating um, for a goalkeeper, which would then probably go into their understanding of not just goalkeeping, but the game as a whole. I think this is a very important and good question uh, because I'm going to talk about uh, uh, the role of the goalkeeper coach in a modern football next week. Yeah. And, and this question is basically related to that because the goalkeeper and the goalkeeper coach, he needs to understand the philosophy of the head coach. He needs to understand the tactic of the head coach. He needs to understand the philosophy of the team, how we are playing, how we are defending, how we are attacking. And he has to basically know its position when we are defending. And he has basically to know its position when, when we are attacking or when the other team is attacking. Because he has to be able to more or less, he's like a, he, he, he should act like a air controller, basically. He is... He, you know, it, it's so good. You, you can ask every defender how important it is to have a goalkeeper who talks and and not just talking. Is what he says make make sense? Said, you know yes. I mean? So he's he's controlling them. Go to the left. Go to the left. Make attack. Hold it. Hold it back. Drop back. Drop back. And and you know all those small details information are very important in some areas and some places where where we have played for example when we played against uh, Cameroon or we played against Argentina there was a lot of noise at the pitch a lot of noise on the stadium and he, you know then you can hardly hear but a communication then it's is more more important so you have to try to find a way to communicate and 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 when you communicate then you can make sure that, for example, the the, the last uh, the the four for uh, uh, last four are not falling or blocking your view uh, towards uh, a possibility shot at the goal, because the the closer they can they they get to the goal, the less you the less you will see, the more they are blocking out, and and the more you know then the more uh, chances that you you uh, bec- there, there will be there will be a, a goal against you so communication is one of the key role but sometimes you can but so it's so important that you can communicate especially when there's a corner and you know the setup you know if it is a zonal defense you know if you if you are man marking you are responsible for the wall uh, and you have to have a guideline who is going to help you uh, controlling the wall and who is going yeah. to be the guy who is going for the attack uh, in the wall, and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. This is all responsibility of the goalkeeper. And uh, in in most cases today in a modern football, a goalkeeper coach. And that's what, what, uh, one of the uh, how do you say uh, what we do in in our cooperation with Hamir and and and, and John Wall. Uh, is that me and John Wall, we work on the set pieces together. Me as a goalkeeper coach, he as an assistant coach, and we work on, on the set pieces, uh, at the attacking part and the defensive, defensive. part. Defensive, okay. And so so we, we do that together, and then we present that to the, the head coach, and he looks at it, and of course he can, can come with comments and things like that, and then we do the present uh, presentation for, for, uh, for the players. Yeah. I see we, here. Are we are responsible for that, and that's a part of the of, of the goalkeeper coach. Goalkeeper coach can help you, uh, how do you say, making some harm on the other side of the pitch, in the attacking part as well. So yeah. because we, we we you know sometimes I look at the goalkeepers from the other team and see if there is uh, where where is his weakness? Is it is it crosses? Is it left side shoot? Uh, back passing? Uh, and how can we how how can we Exploit. harm? The other team? 
exploit yeah. those weaknesses. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. yeah. So coach, coach Andrew Edwards, one of our coaches here, he runs a cad- an academy in um, on the South Coast. He says, coach, will you be involved with coaching education to aid the development of local coaches as part of what you'll be doing here in Jamaica? I know you just mentioned that, but that's the question that he's asking. He's mm-hmm. asking, will you be involved with coaching education to aid the development of local coaches, which is goalkeeper coaches, mm-hmm. for your time here? On an ongoing basis, because I know you're going to do something next week, Wednesday, but yeah. is it going to be ongoing where, uh, because some of these things that you're talking about, it would be better if they were learned at at the amateur level so that by the time they get to the the, 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 the senior teams in, in Jamaica or the, the top teams, they already know some of these practices and principles that you're talking about. I, I, th- I think this is, uh, you know, all the questions uh, uh, are, are good and this is a very relevant and good question. Uh, we have talked a little bit, we are, we, are just, we are just starting and we have talked a little bit about this. But of course, uh, that's, that's why I wanted to have this uh, coaching meeting and, and I said everyone is welcome to come, uh, you know. You know, <laughs> you know, of course, people need to register and things like that. I, I would like to have, it doesn't have to be only now I'm saying how I like to do it. I would like to do this presentation at least for 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 amateur level as well, right? because everything is important. Uh, uh, and and th- this is something I have discussed with uh, the goalkeeper coaches, who are working with the Premier League club, and they told me that they have uh, they have not got um, and that's normal. That's you need you need to start somewhere. They 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 have just a normal. Coaching license, which is a good license, and, and because football is about playing football, uh, and, and and you need to be able to coach. You need to be able to coach an outfield player if you want to coach a goalkeeper. Uh, that's my philosophy. So oh, you, see, you need uh, to be able to coach a goalkeeper. Out, you, you need to coach outfield football before you can get into coaching yeah, goalkeepers. I think, yeah, yeah. I, I, I think that makes sense because that's the game we are playing. You need to, yeah. and, and, and you need to go from from. From, from the top down to the bottom, actually, and, and, and work from there. And, I, I, you know, we talked about it. That, and, and, of course, I'm willing to help, but this is something I will never do alone. And, and this is something, uh, my philosophy, my dream, I, I will tell you about my dream. I, I, can, I, can, I, can, I can impress it here that my dream, as I see it, is the same when I started myself, educating myself in 2011. To, to get those uh, UEFA A license to be able to coach anywhere in the world, so I would like to do. Uh, I would like to see us to go the similarity way, and of course we will have to follow uh, the regulation which is uh, in Jamaica and 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 and, and, and the surrounding countries. That would uh, be awesome. That yeah, would be and, awesome. And, yeah, and, and, and we need to find candidates. To run those courses, so uh, awesome. That's and, that's not like a massive, big plan to yeah, to get I, us I, to I, that I, place. I, yeah. I, 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 in my dream, I, I would say that we need to find four candidates who are willing to uh, take part in this process and become some kind of educators, and 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 and, and we can train them to become better coaches and better educators, and help the clubs. Helps um, uh, young national teams, uh, and 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 the the aim and the mutual interest is to make good Jamaican goalkeepers, and 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 that's my dream. And 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 this yeah. is something. This is something you have to do in steps. This is something you will not do uh, in in a one year period. You need to do this in a steps. And and actually, I have made some kind of. Uh, draw how to build it up. I think we should start basically in a C level, go from C level to B level, and go from B level to A level. And we need to do it in steps. We need to de- make a decision yeah. to do it. But yeah. this is and, something and, we will do in, in, in a three or four years time. And 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 and, and the, the, the aim of doing this is to make a better goalkeepers. And yeah. this, this is not going to be my job. This is... Uh, the, the, if this will be reality, this is something we can go do together. I can monitor it uh, in a way. Uh, I can, we can help each other to build it up. I have all the tools and, and, and to, 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 to help to build it up, to do it in a right way. 
but we need to do it together because uh, I'm not going to tell every coach how he should play football. I'm not going to tell the, uh, every coach how he should pick the goalkeeper uh, because, you know, we are sometimes friends, but sometimes we are playing against each other. But in, in, <laughs> yeah. in theory, we need to have some kind of guidelines. And, and, yes. and football is about guidelines. And what you do, tactical, after that, is your, your choice. Yeah, that that is that 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 is awesome. So the whole idea is: listen, um, if you are a football coach, we want some of you to transition into being goalkeeper coaches. Um, the the, the big plan is that somewhere down the road, you'll you 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 will be afforded to do a C license, a B license, and an A license. And, and, and that's, that's my that, yeah. that is my that is my dream. Yes, but I I, I you know of course this will be done. Under the command of the FA, of course, and 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 and, yeah. and, and the and the football education. But you know, the, the the big question is, what is the role of the goalkeeper coach in Jamaica in each team? Yeah, what is, is the it, role of what what is the role of the goal? Let me ask you that question. Yeah. What is the role of the goalkeeper coach in in the modern day football? What 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 role does a goalkeeper coach play? He has to, first of all, he number one, always number one, he takes care of the goalkeeper. We should never forget that. But we talked about it earlier, 80% or 70 to 80% of what the goalkeeper does in the game is with his foot, with his feet, left or right. He's pass, passing, he's kicking the ball, he's kicking the ball, he's kicking the ball. But uh, as a goalkeeper coaches, we practice a lot catching the ball. So, yes. we are, so, so the role of a modern goalkeeper coach today, and that's something I would like to discuss uh, next week, is that he needs to understand the game. He needs to understand the needs of his goalkeeper during the game. He needs to be able to analyze what the goalkeeper is doing in, in the game. He needs to be analyze the tactic of the team. He needs, he needs to know, he needs to understand the tactic of the head coach. He needs to understand the, the workflow of the head coach and assistant coach. He needs to be a part of the head coach, assistant coach, and, and as a goalkeeper coach. So he needs to be a part of the coaching team. So that's my question. What are the role of the goalkeeper coaches in Jamaica? I ask the question sometimes in Iceland. I, I have asked the question in some uh, when I've been abroad in, in, in other countries. So that's... that's, that's uh, that's that's the theme. What's the role of the goalkeeper coach? The goalkeeper coach is sometimes more than just a goalkeeper coach, because he is he's an assistant coach in a way, because he is assisting the whole team. And who is, for example, better to analyze the other goalkeeper? Who is uh, who is better to analyze who is taking the penalties from the other team and you preparing them? And, okay, and so. so that, that uh, that's awesome. So the goalkeeper coach also has the, the job of analyzing the goalkeeper from the other team, how he deals with the crosses, how he, how he plays out from the back, how he uses his right foot, how, what, what, what is he focused, is, is, check out his balance, check out his positioning, how does he handle penalties. So, yeah. So, so that means a goalkeeper coach on the bench is taking a whole lot of notes during a game when he's watching the goal, the, 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 not just his goalkeeper, but the opposition goalkeeper as well. Yeah, yeah. And, 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 and basically, if, if we are playing against a team, if, if we are running, if we are coaching a team called A and we are playing against a team called B, we are not going to play against a team called B uh, until maybe uh, six months later. So we need to see a game where. Uh, yes. Team C, which we are going to play next week, we need to see the we need to see the game uh, where the, 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 the team C is playing. We need to analyze them because we, we, you know when you are in the game, you are not going to change a lot. You you are basically focusing on 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 this. You are already prepared for this match, but you are after this match is finished, you 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 analyze a little bit what the, you what your goalkeeper did. You do that during the game. And then you start focusing on the next team you're going to play. How, how do they play? Do they have a big strikers? Do, yeah. they, do, do they do a in-swing crosses? Do they do an out-swing crosses? So you have to prepare the keeper for that. Do they do a lot of shooting outside? 
And then, then you have to follow the strategy of the head coach, what his tactical things are going to do, what he's going to do tactically. And then you have to get that tactical things into your goalkeeper work. Because you cannot do shooting uh, in, in a warm-up if you're going to do uh, crosses in a, in a train. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, you that makes wanna... sense. Yes, yeah. that makes sense. So no, because we have a game going up against Mexico. So what this yeah. is really saying yeah. is is this that you have to look at how Mexico attack. Do they do crosses so you can better exactly. prepare the goalkeeper? Do they exactly. use a stand up striker who heads the ball on? I mean, exactly. what do they do? And and not only that, you have to also be analyzing the Mexican goalkeeper to find out if there are vulnerabilities in his play, so yeah. you can all go back to the head coach and say, Coach, this is what um exactly. how we can attack. When it's, he, he misses the squares with the, the crosses when they come in from the right, but he's strong when the cross is coming from the left. So maybe we should try to attack down the right. That that is the kind of work that a goalkeeper. I didn't know it was that. Um, all inclusive. You almost think like you just tell your yeah, goalkeeper yeah. what to do without paying much attention to what the opponent does. You, you have to look at that. And, and, and that's how we work together. And sometimes, you know, the head coach takes uh, some of you, 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 you tell him. He doesn't have to take everything. But that's your job. Because you are, you are never going to, how do you say, overlap the head coach and say, stop here. Right. The goalkeeper is standing like that. You tell the goalkeeper, you tell the head coach. If the head coach like you to talk about the, the other goalkeeper or the weakness of the other team, you do it. But you have to deliver. You Sometimes you send, uh, uh, in, in some cases, you, you send uh, uh, the strikers some clips or, or some USB sticks with some videos. And you, you can say, look at the position of the goalkeeper. Look where he's standing. And you, of course, you get uh, uh, permission to do it from the head coach. And, and that's that's how we work with the Icelandic national team, for example. I always give them uh, uh, the strikers or the guy who took the penalties or the guy who was taking the free kicks. I give them some notes or some video clips about uh, the position of the other goalkeepers in free kicks and in penalties. And, I, and, and, and what he was, the goals he considered, one against one, shoot from outside, corner kicks. So they could... They could more or less brainstorm if they like. It's not a mandatory thing that they use it. You give it to them. You have done your job. It's up to them to use it. You know okay. I mean? uh, yeah. So you present information. It's up to the head coach because you can't override him. Yeah, right, yeah he, awesome. can, he can override. Or, you know, sometimes you don't interfere in a meeting because there's a lot of meetings, a lot of information going on. And sometimes you can give some kind of Info, key information about the behavior of the goalkeeper in, in, in the goal, for example, in penalties. And you know there are a penalty taker number one, a penalty taker number two, then you give them an information. But it's, then it's up to them how to deal with it. And you do the same with, with your goalkeeper. Yeah. Whoa. Uh, uh, um, uh, there's a question. All right. So, people, I'm going to take some of your questions. So, if I missed it earlier, you can just drop it back and I'll ask coach. The first one is, what, what do you think about modern goalkeeper, the height, the height of modern goalkeeper? How important is, is height? <laughs> That's a very good question. <laughs> you, can, you know, everyone says, say that the goalkeeper should be a tall person. That's the first thing they say. But, you know, basically, they, that's how do you say? Their their coach always like to have a tall goalkeeper. It, it, that's normal. Every uh, you know, if if, it is, if he's tall, then he's you know he he can more or less uh, how do you say? Reads all uh, the distance necessary distance to save a goal, save a goal. But as I said before, goalkeeping is about position. Uh, balance talked, and focus, we, position, yeah, balance and focus. Exactly. We talked. We talked about. Of course, height is important. I'm not saying that, but height is not the main. It, it, how do you say uh, the, 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 the mandatory or or or, or, or necessary, necessary? You have to be tall to be a, become a goalkeeper. No, that is not right. That, 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 that isn't right. So if, if if you are short and you have good balance, yeah, good and focus, good position, and, position. and good positioning. You can be a good goalkeeper. Yeah. For example, okay. yeah. For example, Ter Stegen. He's not a tall at, at goalkeeper. At Barcelona. 
And Barcelona, he's not a tall goalkeeper. But yeah. I, I'm, I'm not. I'm not in uh, inches. I'm in. I'm in centimeters. I think he's around 185 or six. Manuel Neuer is 193 centimeters. Now I'm talking centimeters. Okay. So, so, so the, the, there are, you know, there are, uh, you know, for example. Uh, Has there been a wait, maybe maybe the question we need to look at because you have been into into goalkeeping. Has there been a uh, as somebody mentioned, Casillas, who used to keep for Spain, yes, that that he wasn't the tallest goalkeeper. That he was he was only five ten. Yeah, but, he's one 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 eighty five or six or something like that. Yeah. Oh, we do it. We, we, we do it in we do it in yes. feet. <laughs> yeah, you I do know, it. In... He, 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 he was not a tall goalkeeper. He came world champions, European champions. He was won a Champions League. Uh, Partes, uh, France goalkeeper. He was a world champions. Played for Manchester United. He was he was he was a very small goalkeeper in a way. Bartes. Bartes. Okay. So so there are, there are a lot of you know there you can say the the smallest goalkeepers in a way or not being the tallest goalkeeper. They they have won the most trophies. And when it comes to World Championship and European Championship. Okay. Okay. But people, okay. you know it, it, it's all about you know. The the more up front from the line you stay, the smaller the goal will be. But then you're taking a risk. Then you're taking a risk if you can get the ball over your head. Oh, then, okay, that's what I mean. So it yeah. is good if you're more off the line, but it's yeah. also taking a risk because the ball can go over your head. Yeah, but but then the goal then then someone has to kick the ball over your head. He has to be able to do that. Or then yeah. the small uh, and if if you for example, if you watch. For example, Barcelona, the, how they play, and if you watch, you, I know that you watch Arsenal a lot. If you watch, if, if you watch your your keeper in Arsenal, he is he's he's not staying on the line. No, no, no. And you, if you watch him when he is making a save, where is his position? And and that's a good you know strategy to to and and, and philosophy to to study the position of the goalkeeper. Where is he making the save? And then you see a tall goalkeeper uh, who is playing for Manchester United. And he is working a lot on the line, but he's tall. Why yeah. is, why is my, my question, I always, because I, I'm, I'm supporting Manchester United. Now it's <laughs> not no, no, no official. But you know, my, 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 my question <laughs> always when I see him play, why are you so passive? Da David Ayer. Yeah. yeah. Why are you so passive? Because he's a good goalkeeper. I think he could be better goalkeeper not being so passive. Yeah. yeah. But everyone can be better goalkeeper. <laughs> yes, yes. All right. We have lots of comments coming in. Um, I saw one from, but I didn't understand it um, from uh, Jigo Dane. Um, so if you can just rephrase the question, please, and then send it back, then I'll try to answer it. This Oh, somebody, Robbie saying, what does he think about what Blade does well won't ask what he what he needs right but what do you think about our number one goalkeeper um because some of us have said why isn't he keeping in europe but he That's wins he, he is the the mls goalkeeper of the year for um a few years now um in the league i mean some say he's a shot stopper but not a goalkeeper what is the difference what does he do well as a goalkeeper I what can, do you like? I, about, yeah, yeah. I can I can tell you. I was it, it was a privilege to start working with him uh, for the Argentina game because I didn't know him. I, I watched a lot of videos. Uh, I I tried to uh, get into the character by listening to his uh, interviews and etc. But his main three points. Do you know what that is? Three points. Yes. Focus, balance, and positioning. Yes. That that's what he said when you met him. Yes, that's that. that, 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 that this, this is what I saw when I met him actually, and this is what I saw when I was monitoring him in in, in his game with uh, uh, in US. When I saw him, I, I saw Philadelphia. a lot of yeah, you know, Philadelphia. I saw a lot of games with, from him, and that is his that is his his, his strongest. He is very, of course, he's very act. He's very very focused, and he's yeah. very he's always in a balance. And, yeah. and, and 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 he's always in the right position. 
<laughs> yeah. He has those three elements. And the, the, he has the three elements which are, that's my point of view, that is his key elements. And of course, he's a great character. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, wow, that, that, that is important. Um, Daniel Simit says, staying on the line is only for saving penalties. Otherwise, <laughs> no need to be on Agreed. the line. And Agreed. then, and Granny Ura says, um, Joey Ramos is 5'8 or 5'9. Yeah. He was a former Mexican goalkeeper. Campos from Mexico was also a shorter goalkeeper as well. Um, so those are... Those are a couple of, of comments where that is concerned. But this sounds like a whole lot of stuff. Uh, and I really hope that when the invitation is out for not this Wednesday, but next week, Wednesday, that um, as many coaches as possible um, who are, you know, just come out and be a part of this. This is the first in many that coach. Uh, I call him Gumi. You want to say your correct name for the people so they can know, they can try to pronounce it because you know I won't. I will call you Gumi. But pronounce your name for those who don't know I, it. I, I, can, I can say it in, in typical Icelandic and then I can say it in uh, typical hard German. Uh, if, it's, if I say it in Icelandic, my first name or my, 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 my first giving name is Gudmundur. Uh, and that's in German, Gutmunder. And 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 uh, my father's uh, or family name is Reidarsson. That's his Reidarsson. So if you want to do it in a in, in a Jamaican <laughs> language, say, say Gutmunder Reidarsson. Good, would you just say Gumi? All right, just. Yeah, I think that's that's the best. Uh, most, yes, most yes. My foreigner friends call me Gumi. Uh, and and somebody says Blake is also. Is good with his feet. He's one of our best alongside yeah. Donovan. Um, Rick, it's one of the former goalkeepers. One question I want to ask though is that even Jamaica, we haven't had a lot of keepers that have broken through. Um, I don't know what's going on right here. Yeah, you hearing me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. All right, we, so, um, one of the issues that we have had is that, um, we haven't seen a lot of our best goalkeepers break through in terms of the European market. Is it that Europe is flooded with goalkeepers or is it that we need to, like I said, lift the standard of goalkeepers in Jamaica and other places in the Caribbean? That's a good question. And there are a lot of good goalkeepers all around the world. And you can see... Uh, even goalkeepers uh, coming from uh, America to, to to Europe, to England, and, and some of the clubs even played in Germany and etc. For example, uh, that's my opinion. Or if, if we took, if we talk about Blake, for example, I, I, I would love, I would have loved to see Blake play in the German Bundesliga, uh, and I, I, I think uh, his style of playing would be made for for him to play there, and and also in Italy. Uh, uh, and and but you know I think the most difficult place and, and in Spain for example he could, he he would be an excellent in Spain uh, that's uh, now I'm talking about style of football I'm not saying that he would necessarily uh, uh, and that I'm saying for for many good goalkeepers that for example the England Premier League it doesn't uh, fit everyone but uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure that he, he would make it, but I would love to have seen him uh, played in, in, in Germany or, or Spain or, or Italy. Because, yeah, because uh, you have played in Germany. You think Blake could play in Germany? Yeah, he's, a, he's, a, he, he's, he's that type of... Because the Germans, they, they love the three keywords, focus, balance, position, they, and, and, and he has that. And that's All right, so you, you have, yeah, you have also worked with Jamali Wait. Yes. Um, um, as well, that's the next yeah. goalkeeper here that you worked with. I think he was with you in Cameroon, yeah. He was in Cameroon and he was excellent there. And he, he, he reminds me, you know, I'm not going to say that you know he's the next Blake, but he, he reminds me of, 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 of uh, um, a big, how do you say, he, he, he's a big talent, he's a young, he's a young goalkeeper, he's a big talent. And he's very focused, and 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 he's working with his balance and and and, and position. But he is he is very focused, and and he has a nice attitude. 
and he played very well against Cameroon. We were very happy with him. And and, and what he has, we talked about it earlier. He's uh, he is uh, he's a big talker. He's talking a lot. He's talking and he's yes. giving me the right signal. Uh, and and uh, uh, I worked also with Foster. We were very happy with Foster. Uh, oh, Kimar Foster. Yes, yeah, yes, Kim yes. Foster. And he's very focused. Uh, and he he's very keen on 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 getting all the way. He has a very nice. Uh, I know his goalkeeper coach uh, was a very nice goalkeeper. So will. Yeah, I think so. Andrew Sewell is his goalkeeper, his yeah. goalkeeper coach. Yeah. yeah, and he's a very nice goalkeeper coach, and I, I, I've seen them in a warm up, and and of course, uh, you know, each goalkeeper coach has a has his own style, and I, I like his style and attitude, and 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 the drive put. So so we have a lot of goalkeepers, but we need to uh, how do you say build up a strong goalkeeper coach's family in, in the country, and 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 uh, take it all away, yeah. and it, it will take time. Uh, it will be a long journey, and and uh, I always say that if we can make uh, uh, one Blake, uh, Andrew Blake, every five years, we are doing the right thing. Yeah, and there is also a, a a goalkeeper because I know you said that you have been tracking goalkeepers. He kept in our under twenty um, championship playoff where we didn't qualify for the World Cup. His name is Connor Boyce Clark. Um, he he's in England, and also um, yeah. in our last Nations League game, we had Amal Knight, who just yeah. um, moved Went into the like USL. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. right, right, right. I, I was I was hoping to meet him in in uh, in January, but then he went to US, which is good for him. Uh, and 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 then we have uh, this uh, English guy. I've just seen him on 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 videos and I'm trying to follow him uh, where where he has been playing um, in uh, in the championship in uh, in England. And so, so you know, there there are keepers out there, but you know, first and 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 first we need to look on what we have in house before we yeah. go uh, to, be, be, before we go somewhere else to find the goalkeeper. Yeah. All right. All right. So this one says, have you have you researched the history of of goalkeepers in Jamaica? If yes, what have you learned that will help guide your work while you are here? Uh, I have, I have not. I have looked at uh, up to thirty goalkeepers uh, uh, just uh, on my own, trying to gather some information about the history. Uh, and 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 uh, uh, what I learned is basically that what is, I'm, maybe I'm totally wrong. I'm not saying that I'm right, but I think. Jamaica is uh, having a lot of good goalkeeper coaches. And they have a lot of good goalkeepers as well. But yeah. we need to find a way to help all of us to do, how do you say, more streamlined goalkeeping uh, uh, practice based on what the game is um uh, how do you say delivering to us and and we need to find a way to balance what is happening in the game what we are doing in the trainings and we need to be able to ask us questions a lot of questions and say why because i can tell you that in All right, I think we have in. I was. Yeah, we, I was we had a little. Break, we have a little break in transmission on your end code, so yeah. just you, you probably have to repeat. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I was. I was saying that when I started in two thousand eleven, where uh, the role of the I thought. Hard work was the game. Hard work. The the, the more uh, repeated you do, the more harder you work, the, the better. But the goalkeeping is so technical. Sport it is so, such a technical position. And the more technical the goalkeeper is, uh, the better. I would say. Uh, the more you can work on position. Uh, the more you can work on focus. Uh, so and the more you can work on balance. So so. I, I, I try to 
mix those three three things together and, and four things with a technical thing and 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 it's not about it's not about quantity it's about quality uh, and and that's 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 the name of the game because when i was young and when i was playing uh the more tired you were after the training as a as a goalkeeper the better the training was but that's so wrong because uh, there's a lot of red numbers uh, in your body and, and you are uh, you you get mentally physically but, uh, yeah. very tired after a long time of just training like that so it, it it has to make sense about what we are doing and we we can only do this together in a conversation so so i would say uh, I would say, you know, you are, Jamaica is somewhere in between 2011-2023 uh, in, in my, my my journey. But I, I, I can I, I I love the how do you say the atmosphere and 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 the interest I have got so far. I loved working with the keepers. Uh, they are very well motivated. They are they are very well trained. Um, uh, they are. It's very easy to let them uh, reverse and think about new things, uh, and 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 in the end, you can all. You the only thing you can do as a coach, you can you can guide them. You can tell them why you want this to be done, but you need to explain it. And, but then in the end, it's up to them to to distribute it because they are playing the game. And you are only helping them to be able to play the game to become better, and it's it's about um, how do you say cooperation? Cooperation is is a key word in 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 success. Yeah. All right. Someone is asking: Does he recommend that past players in Jamaica um, adapt their playing experiences to coaching program? I'm not sure. I fully understand that. No. Um, I'm I'm not sure. Um, I, I, I don't know if you understand it. Adapt there. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it is saying that if you used to play football, that you have to change your thinking if you're going to become a coach because football has changed. No, not necessarily. You, 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 I, you know, it, it's, 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 you know, I would say education is very important in, in football. You try to educate yourself in a way but you always have to bear in mind the way you like the football to be played we saw for example uh, uh, a game uh, when i was last time here i saw foster playing Kemal foster and he was playing as a goalkeeper very high up on the pitch uh, i don't you you saw the game as well and yeah. he was he, he was playing outside the penalty box a lot uh, and this is not his normal style of playing but this is uh, what the coach wanted him to play and then the goalkeeper has to adapt to what the goal uh, the coach wants to play and have to uh help him to be able to play this position he, he made it okay he made it well and, he, and but this is not the way he's normally playing but yeah. in this game the goalkeeper coach on uh, the the coach wanted uh, goal, uh, the goalkeeper to play uh, Cameron foster to play like that and, and and then you need to adapt because in the end you know the head coach is the coach he he's the boss and yeah. we, we we follow his philosophy, but it, it, and, and and we need to sometimes uh, agree and sometimes we can disagree. But in the end, it's the head coach who makes the decision, and we follow his decision. Yeah. All right, people. I know you see a wall behind Gumi, but it's actually eleven minutes to twelve in the night where he's at. Right. So I'm going to take this last point, and I'm going to let him go. And here's what we're going to do. He's going to be in Jamaica um this coming weekend and he starts the first seminar the following wednesday right mm -hmm. like he said his plan is as many um coaches and persons interested in 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 this goalkeeping knowledge to come out to the seminar of course there is no cost to it you will it will be promoted by the the, the jff so you'll know where it's going to be when it's going to start but it's supposed to be next week wednesday all right, and this is not it's not a one-off thing, it will be an ongoing part of the development and the growth and the training and the learning in the area of goalkeeping 
all across Jamaica. And like I said, his dream, his plan is that we can get to the place where we have C license, B license, and A licensed goalkeeper coaches. I think that will be awesome. And Coach Andrew Edwards is asking, what role will you play in developing a coaching methodology for young goalkeepers that will enable and empower coaches across the island? Uh, you, you basically said the word, you know, I think we need to, we need to educate coaches to become uh, uh, C diploma goalkeeper coaches. And there, there, that's where you start and then you become a B and then you can become a C. The more education we will do, uh, the more help we will be able to provide, the better we will be. And so, it, it, like I said, it's, it's a long journey and it's something I will not be doing on my own. I would like to find candidates to uh, do this in a right way. And we need to start somewhere and, 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 and nothing has been decided, but that's actually the step we are taking. Because everything I do is an open book. Uh, if people like to come to see me work on, on, on training, uh, when, when we have an open training, it, 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 they are welcome to come. But there is no magic in it. It's just a, a simple philosophy which we try to follow. And, 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 uh, and we can only do this together. Awesome. So, Coach, Coach Gumi, I mean, um, talk to all the Jamaicans who have been intrigued by what you have said. They, they have been informed. I saw a person saying, I never even realized this. I never know this. And this is not the seminar. Some are saying that this is the actual seminar that you just did. So I'm going to give you um, your last say. Um, and then we are going to do this when you're back here. But go ahead. You have the last say. Yeah, man. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm so happy uh, to be a part of uh, uh, this journey which we are taking and hopefully it will be a, a, a success and I'm sure it will be a success in the end if we work all together. Uh, about my, my election on, on Wednesday, it's, uh, it's uh, how do you say, seminar which is uh, two to three hours with a lot of talking, uh, a lot of demonstration uh, on PowerPoint. Um, and 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 uh, I would like uh, as many as possible to come and join, to listen and talk, and 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 and, and we can share uh, ideas and and, uh, and and thoughts, because um, nothing is right uh, right or nothing is wrong. You can say in coaching. So if you have a, a, a talented uh, goalkeeper, uh, strive, you you can always everything you do to help him. Is going to help them so you can start and, and and you don't have to be afraid that you're doing anything wrong you are only doing things right if you're discussing and helping yeah there you go so coach gumi listen want to thank you for your time i know we had this planned last week but you're such a busy man man you keep sweeping up that scraping up that snow over there in iceland so we had to wait patiently <laughs> <laughs> but it happened. Can't wait for you to 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 be back in Jamaica. You understand me? So we can have some um, jerk chicken and some ackee and saltfish and all the wonderful Jamaican stuff out here. And looking forward to next week, Wednesday. Um, you know, and um wishing you all the best um in in, in, in your journey um with our national team and um hope you will bring just goalkeeping. Um, across Jamaica and, and, and the rest of the Caribbean, like you said, you want all the the neighboring um, islands to, to benefit from your gift to this space. And I hope, you know, with the JFF and the Caribbean Football Union, we can find a way to not just develop here in Jamaica, but right across the Caribbean, the same way you're Icelandic and you have helped to develop goalkeepers right across Europe. And, um, and, and you can see that there are so many top European goalkeepers, you know, right now. And, um, yeah, really, really grateful for the opportunity. Looking forward to more conversations like this with you. I mean, so many people watching, you're very popular, right? <laughs> so thank you again. <laughs> yes. Thank you see again. You. And I will see you Saturday. See you Saturday, my friend. All right, then, my friend. Bye-bye.
All right, so there you go, people. Um, Coach Gumi, I call him. It's very difficult pronouncing the surname, so I won't do that. I want to thank all of you, all the present players who were in the chat, Damian Hyatt, Amal Knight, the goalkeepers, the coaches, the football administrators, the past players, man like Gregory Messer, people. When you see Messer in the chat, he will give problems, you know. Big up yourself, uh, Sir Messer. Freddie Butler. You know, Freddie Butler always comes in and he hits up a super sticker. Thanks for all the support, man. Thanks for all the, all the love, all the likes. Thanks to, um, I call him the mother, the goat of all moderators. Fresh God. Big up yourself, my G. You understand me? Um, want you to know that this Friday we have two interviews, right? Very important. We'll have Massimo Lukushi. Lucici, I don't, I don't care about it, but he's from Italy and he's going to be talking to us about the high press and he's going to also be talking to us about a webinar that he will be doing um, about teaching the high press in football and and it's, he's going to do it so that coaches um, who watch the stream will get an invitation where they can get to join the webinar at no cost, alright not only that but on that same day, um, Coach René Simois will be on the stream um, just before him at 10 a.m. And he's going to further help us to understand formation, systems, philosophy, and, and, and game module. What is the difference between all four? And did he actually leave a system of play, a module, or a philosophy for Jamaica to adapt to? We're going to have that discussion as we look to elevate the football in discussion again thanks to every single one listen um lots and lots of respect to all of you um uh it it is l u c c e s s i and is m a s s i massimo m a s s i m o that's the first name so respect to every single one of you as we say as usual love for the love I am Manning's man. This has been I Am Sure Sports. And when it gets to this point, if you have been here, you know we say we are over and we are O-U-T out.